Rose Tattoo. Rose Tattoo. There's an Australian band. Kind of the sound, kind of along the lines of like a Bon Scott's ACDC kind of. They have their own style, they're not ripping anybody off though. They totally have their own sound, but it's like an ACDC type rock and roll. This album came out in 82. And it's by Albert Productions, Albert and Son, which um, if you go back to the ACDC, like say, Dirty D's done dirt cheap, uh, high voltage, on any of those albums, look at the back, it'll say Albert and Sons. Probably pretty sure they got more albums up, but I only got three of them. And uh, this one's got Scarred for Life, We Can't Be Beaten, Juice on the Loose, Who's Got the Cash? Branded, Texas, It's Gonna Work Itself Out, Sydney Girls, Dead Set, and Revenge. I'm gonna crank up uh, Dead Set. Crank Up Revenge, that's a good uh, political song. Uh, that album there is more rock and roll. Okay, that's the third album. This is their second album. I know uh, quite a few punks, they love this album. It's called Assault and Battery. Yeah, one of the songs that the punks really love. It came out in 81. The other came out in 82. Now, the this album has got some faster songs than the third album. Okay. One of my favorite songs off this album is Suicide City. a great album. Um, if you're not into getting all their albums, just some of them as um, my headbanger pickings, get Assault and Flattery, okay? Headbanger's choice, this album, Assault and Flattery. This album, 1980. 
Now, another favorite for punkers. Okay. Nice boys. Don't play rock and roll. No, they don't. They play Tom Petty and the Eagles. They don't play rock and roll. You see, rock and roll is not Tom Petty or the Eagles, Brian Adams, you know, Bruce Springsteen, stuff like that. That's not rock and roll. You know, Huey Lewis, like that, uh, John Mellencamp, that's, that's what we called back in high school jock rock. You know, the jocks, they, they were into that stuff, eh? You know? The jocks, they, they uh, you know, ACDC got popular, so they, they kind of went into ACDC. They do listen to some little bit heavier stuff, but, you know. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Nice boys don't play rock and roll. Lighter store, uh, dollar store lighters. I actually use I use a Zippo for my cigars, but I'm not a okay. I have some ashes on my record. Oh, goodness. Astro Wally. Now, some punk band did that. I think it's UIC that covered it. Okay, a little bit heavier than Alex Harvey, right? But maybe not too many people know Alex Harvey, but you should, you know, check him out anyways, you know? Like, you know, this was all, you know, rock and roll was, was getting heavier. The blues had a baby. 
and they named it rock and roll. Rock and roll had a baby, and they called it heavy metal. And uh, next time I'll do some heavy metal. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know. Maybe some death row. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I got lots. You know, like, like subscribe. Man. Look, look at this. Like, you know how rare this album is? Holy smokes, man. You know, I got so many goodies coming up. So many goodies. You know, look at this. King Diamond. My God, I remember. So, that was Rose Tattoo. Like and subscribe. Support these bands. And thanks to all the owners and everything else. So, that's it for Rose Tattoo. Take care, guys and girls. See you next time.